The jerk test is a provocative test used to diagnose posterior shoulder instability. Traumatic posterior instability is less common than anterior instability. It is also underdiagnosed. It is common in football players. Posterior instability of the shoulder is usually traumatic in the majority of patients. Injury usually occur in football linemen who sustain injury during blocking. Flexion, abduction, and internal rotation of the arm is a high-risk position. Posterior labral detachment or tear is common. It's called a Kim lesion or reverse Bankert lesion. The patient will have pain with posteriorly directed force or pressure. The patient also may have the feeling that their shoulder is slipping out. There is no apprehension in abduction and external rotation of the shoulder. It means it's not an anterior instability. There are several specialized tests or provocative tests to assess the posterior instability of the shoulder. The posterior load and shift test, the jerk test, the posterior apprehension test, and chem test. Combination of jerk test and chem test will give approximately 97% sensitivity. This is how you do the jerk test. The patient arm is abducted to 90 degree and internally rotated, and the elbow is bent. The examiner axially loads the humerus while the arm is moved horizontally across the body. The arm at that point will be abducted and the shoulder will be flexed. The axial load will be continuously applied at that point. A positive test is indicated by a sharp pain in the shoulder with or without a clicking sound. In some cases, the patient may have the sense of instability but no pain. Treatment. Surgery is done either open or arthroscopic for posterior labral repair, especially for recurrent posterior shoulder instability that's not getting better with rehab. The jerk test is used as a predictor for the prognosis of non-operative treatment to the posterior shoulder instability. A painful jerk test will have a higher failure rate with non-operative treatment for the posterior labral lesion. Thank you very much. I hope I was helpful.